What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the changes that came with update 1.29 uh, yesterday for Modern Warfare. These patch notes were released yesterday afternoon. I'm going to link all the patch notes down in the description if you would like to read over them for yourself. The overall update was around 33 gigs. But the good thing is Infinity War did announce that the update will reduce the overall game size on all platforms by 25 gigs. It also kind of talks about uh, they added some things in. It's going to bring support for next-gen consoles, which will be launching soon. Of course, you know, the Xbox came out today. The PS5 comes out here in the U.S. and a few other countries uh, Thursday, and then everywhere else worldwide on the 19th. So they're trying to go ahead and implement a lot of this stuff in for next-gen consoles as well. Like I said, if you would like to read over this stuff, I will link all of it down in the description. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. The new playlist update, of course, came out with these patch notes for regular multiplayer. It's going to be Ground War, Gunfight, TDM, Snipers Only, Hardpoint, Heals and Kills, Shipment 24-7, and Shoot House 24-7. When it comes to uh, Warzone, you're going to have BR Solos, Duos, Trios, and Quads, and of course, Plunder Trios. Now, the one thing they added yesterday that I think is absolutely a massive thing, that's one of the biggest things they've probably done, in my opinion, for Warzone, they launched a beta version of private matches. Now, it does require certain, a number of players to start the match and will have three uh, different modes available. If you want to play BR, you'll have to have 50 players required to start. There also will be squad variations in all of these. Uh, Plunder, you will have to have 30 players to start. And Mini BR, you will have to have 24 players to start. Uh, the thing that I find to be really interesting with this, there's a lot of tournaments going on with, for a lot of big money, whether it be pro players, YouTubers, streamers, whatever the case may be. They're going to be really happy about this because they're having to play in public lobbies. And of course, in a public lobby, you cannot control who's cheating. You cannot control if somebody stream sniping you if you're streaming. With these new private matches, now anybody that wants to have these big tournaments can just have who they want in the lobby. It's a lot easier to keep up with what's going on. And it's also a lot easier to keep up with if anything is fishy is going on. You can kind of pinpoint that as well because you'll know exactly who's in that lobby. It won't just be random people, you know, just in a public lobby. When it comes to general fixes, there were a lot of bugs and error codes that they did fix yesterday. They also fixed an issue where the officer challenge was resetting even though you had completed it from 90 to 100. Sometimes it would reset after completion, uh, preventing anyone from getting that season 6 emblem. Also, players using the Juggernaut now will not hear that drilling audio when certain things are hitting you, like uh, throwing knives, and there are some other things as well. They also fixed a bug where the spotter scope would uh, actually, you wouldn't be able to, you know, you would be able to have issues with that spotter scope while not ADSing. Um, when picking up two weapons while looking with the scope, that has also been fixed. They fixed a bug where helicopters would spin and float in the air. Uh, after progressing in survival, that has always been an issue to me in ground war. I always see those things just spinning around, floating. I'm not sure if they're ever going to fix that in ground war, but hopefully that is a step forward to fixing it in all modes. Uh, a fix that prevented players from going AFK in gunfight. LMGs, sniper rifles, and marksman rifles will now rotate as intended, uh, in, as intended in the gunfight mode. When it comes to weapons, there were no like nerfs or buffs. They just fixed a few things for the M4 Tombstone, where a, a bug for the 458 SOCOM rounds, the 9mm PAR rounds, uh, was removing from the weapon model. That has been fixed. And the dynamic icon appears to have a mirror gap between the barrel and the body of uh, certain weapons when using a compensator for some of the tracer packs. That has also been fixed. Now, when it comes to PC, they said to help with patch size and disk space, high resolution textures will now be downloaded while playing using on-demand texture streaming. It says on-demand texture streaming is located in the options under the graphics tab in the details and texture section. It will only kick in for use uh, for users when playing with texture resolution set on high. It's it, it stream textures for operators and weapons. You can control the daily, uh, the daily, excuse me, texture streaming limit and size of your cache. And you can learn more, of course, about texture streaming and like I said I'll have this stuff linked down in the description all you have to do is just click on that PC section there and there'll be a little bit more info about texture streaming there also they had a fix for uh, where PC players were able to select a custom loadout in snipers only also a fix for an issue where some Activision account names were being applied to different profiles in the friends list now when it comes to Warzone they fixed uh, to help the fight against weapon corruption while in spectator mode the gas from the gas grenade can sometimes obscure or completely hide players from thermal scopes. That has been fixed. 
they fixed an exploit near the uh, metro station. They also fixed an exploit uh, with the durable gas mask. They fixed an audio bug where no overheat audio was playing. They fixed for a bug where players are unable to equip other war tracks after selecting random and remove juggernauts from the bunker puzzles. And that is all that we had today. Not a lot of changes, of course, with multiplayer. That's kind of to be expected considering Black Ops Cold War is about to come out. They're really trying to get everything set up for Warzone going forward, considering Warzone is going to kind of be just implemented into every Call of Duty from now on. They're trying to make sure everything is ready to go, you know, for new gen and old gen consoles alike, including PC also. They're trying to make sure that everything's running correctly. Like I said, the biggest thing about this update, in my opinion, was those private matches or that private match beta being added in for Warzone. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, we'd like to hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.